DIYs. It's your girl Nilo, and you are welcome to the channel, guys. I'm so happy. We are 1,000 plus subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am really grateful. All right. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to cut this cute shirt. It has pocket, front zip, and um and a back elastic okay i use front i use zip at the front i'm going to be putting a hook there and then it has elastic at the back okay so you can also make trouser with this the only difference is just the length okay so if you're new to this channel and you've not subscribed please join the family by subscribing and also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time i upload new video like and share my video share 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 okay and if you're a passerby, thank you for stopping by and also come back later, okay? <laughs> Alright, so let's start. My fabric is on fold, okay? And this is my starting line, okay? Yeah, so now I'm going to be marking my crush, which is 6 inches. How to divide the crush should be on the screen, okay? All right, that's I divided the my hip the hip measurement divided by four is the crotch. Okay, so the hip is twenty four divided by four is six. So and now I'm going to be taking the length. So I'll be minusing one and a half inch for the length because it is going to have a band. So the length is eleven inches, but I added three more inches to it. Okay, because it's a growing up child, is a year and eight months. So, in case if it grows, if it if it grows taller than the short, I can loosen the down and also you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so this is the length of the short, and here is the crush. Okay. All right, I'm going to use a white chalk to draw it clearly so that you'll be seeing it very clear. right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to be putting the hip measurement i'll be using the hip measurement on the waist because it's going to have elastic so i don't need waist circumference i'll be using the hip circumference which is six inches okay i'll also mark the same six inches on the waist this is because it has elastic at the back okay so i'm going to rule a straight line to the crush line like so and I'll be extending the crush by 1.5 inch, okay? All right. So I'm going to connect like so. Just a little arc. Okay. So now I'm going to mark the knee length. Okay. But before then, I'm going to come in by 1 inch from that starting line like this. Okay. I'm going to come in by 1 inch just to give it a little kind of curve down there and then i'm going to mark the knee length i'm also using the same six inches because it's a short so it's not supposed to have any to be straight or tight or so there so i mark the same six inches so now i'm going to be connecting like this with a little curve okay and that is all for the front so now i'm going to be sh i'm going to show you how to um mark the zipper fly okay so i use one inch for the zip fly so i'm marking it like so and the length i'm going to use is 4.5 okay so i'm connecting it like this and now I'm going to cut the short. Okay. Okay, so on the waist, I'm going to slant the... Sorry, guys. Always make sure you fold this place before cutting. I, I always forget to fold it. And each time I'm folding it, I'll notice that I have shortage at the edge. Okay. Always fold the down part before you mark and cut. 
I always forget to do that. And I'm going to show you on my next trouser tutorial, okay, so that you understand what I'm saying. So I'm kind of slanting the waist by half inch, okay. So now I'm going to place this on the back um, panel. So this is the fabric I'm going to use for the back. It's also on fold, all right? So I added, I'm going to fold this zipper fly inside. I'm going to use pin to secure it, okay? All right, so I used the pin to secure there and then I'm going to increase the waist length by three inches, okay? Because I'll be folding it, okay? So the waist I increased by three inches because I'll be folding it. And then here I'll be adding one inch, like so. First of all, I instead the crush by one inch and I'm also going to be adding one inch all around. Not all around, just at the inseam inseam area okay like this i didn't add any seam allowance on the seam side okay the other side is only on this area that i add seam allowance okay so i'm going to connect like so all the way up like this and now I am going to cut it out, okay? Please share this video and also like it. If you have any question regarding this video, leave it on the comment below and then I'll attend to it, okay? So now we are done cutting the back and the front panel, okay? So I'm going to stitch like so. I'm going to sew the crotch. That's the back panel, okay? So now I'm, I want to cut the front waistband. So I'm going to place the front shot like this and then trace the waist like so, okay? And then I'll be going up from that line I mark, I'll be going up by two inches, okay? like this okay so i want to extend the waist by 1.5 inch because it's going to have uh overlapping on the waist Okay, so I extended it by 1.5 inch. All right, so I'm going to connect all the lines. And the length of the band is two inches, okay? I'm trying to get the lines very well. I'm trying to trace it very well. Okay, so I'll cut it out now. So guys, I've cut it out, okay? It's four pieces there, two of, on the right side and two on the left side. So I'm trying to, I'm going to notch the down part so as to know where to be, where to place on the waist, okay? On the waist of the shorts. So I notched there. All right, so I'm gonna go and sew here like this, the way I showed you. And this place, I'm going to show so from the waist down to the crush, okay? And this place I marked is three inches where the zip is going to stop. So if I sew like this, I'm going to stop here and back stitch, okay? I'll double stitch where I marked the three inches. And then I'll sew from the waist, not from where I'm showing you. I'll sew from the waist down to the crush with a gather stitch, okay? So now this is the back. I've sewed it. Right, so I'm going to fold like this one a half inch in first, half inch, and then one inch like this. Okay, 
I'll first of all fold in half an inch and then fold it again one inch okay so I'm going to sew on it this way here okay I'm going to sew there where I fold I'm going to run a stitch on it and that is where our elastic is going to pass through okay <clears throat> so this is the front I'm done sewing it as you can see I sewed from the waist down to the crotch and with a gather stitch because you're going to lose it after you attach your zip so I'm placing the zip this way all right place the zip like so and then I'm going to stitch on this right side first and I'm going to stop where I back stitched here on the three inches okay that's the length of the zip if it's adult is seven inches long in short is the whole zip length because the zip is seven inches long so because it's a child I use three inches long for his zip so I'm gonna stop here that I back stitch okay so I place it like so and then I'll stitch here okay All right, so guys, I have sold the back panel, as you can see, and this is where our elastic is going to pass through. All right, so the front, I have also sold the right hand side, okay? So maybe the way you are watching it is on the left hand, but when I was making it, it was on the right hand. So this other side, I'm going to fold like so, okay? Now I pushed in a little just to form that overlapping. Okay, so I'm going to fold like this to give it a little thickness and then I'm going to sew there. Okay, so as you can see guys, I have stitched there. All right, so what I'm going to do is to turn it to the right side like this. And then that part, I'm going to push it in a little bit to form the, um, what would I call it? The fly, like overlapping. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to sew it. So what I marked was actually too long. So I didn't get to that point. I came up a little this. So I came up a little, this was too long. So I came up a little, so I'm going to sew like that, that shape. Okay. All right so and um, for the pocket and for the pocket i use six inches long for his pocket you can use five inch i just use six inches because i'm i'll end up being the one putting my hand inside so and not him so i use six inch long and then the width of the pocket is going to be two inches where i'm marking now okay so this is the pocket i've cut two pieces of this and um is nine inches by nine okay nine inches width and nine inches long all right so i'm going to be placing it like so like this okay this is different from my adult short tutorial the pocket is different okay this is also another way of making a pocket so i'm going to place it like this and then i'll stitch a stop at the six inch i marked okay so i i will do that on the both side so i've done that i placed right side and then i saw i stopped on that six inch then i notched so this is the two inches i came in with by that the other time i showed you for the width of the pocket so i'm gonna hold it like this and then i'll sew okay as you can see i slant it i did not hold it straight i'm gonna sew here like this okay so guys i have sew it the way i showed you okay as you can see and i stopped at the six inch so i'm going to fold like this inward like this okay just the way i'm doing it if this pocket is difficult for you please check my short making tutorial for adults 
or my um trouser cutting you see how to make the other pocket okay so i'm going to pin here because i'm going to be sewing there just a little here and here okay just like packing it together to be like this one okay so and i'm going to sew here like this just to to hold the pocket okay to sew the pocket like so i don't even know what i'm saying english is difficult guys <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to sew it now, then I'll be back. All right, guys, I've tacked it the way I said or the way I showed you, and I've also sewed the pockets area, okay? Also open the gather stitch I made on the zipper fly. So the zip is open, and then I, top, I stitch here, okay? I sew there to hold it in place. So now I'm going to cut the zip because it's too long. So I'm going to cut that. The remaining part out okay if you did not open your gather stitch i mean yeah the gather stitch you made on the zipper fly you're not going to be able to wear the shorts now so you have to open it up after sewing the zip okay so now i'm going to be sewing the um band okay so i've joined the two bands together remember i cut four pieces two for this and two for the other side so and then i ironed the interfacing on one okay as you can see you saw here okay so like so you shift it inside for the overlapping okay that zipper fly side the place that you overlap, you're going to shift it inside, okay? All right, guys, I'm done. I'm going to um, attach elastic for the back. So this is 9 inches. His waist is 20. Yeah, 20 divided by 2 is um 10 now. So I minus 1 inch from the waist circumference, okay? All right, guys, I'm done. Um, attaching the elastic passing the elastic through the band so I'm going to stitch here like so here and here okay All right and for the band as you can see I've saw it and one is overlapping each other okay so I'm gonna place the back like this make sure that here and here align with each other okay you place like so and then you fold like this and then you sew from here down to the hemline okay i'm going to show you again place here and here together make sure the lines align the band align with each other you fold it like this and then you sew here down to the hemline i'll do the same on the other side and this other place too, I'm going to fold like this and stitch, okay? Here, I'll do the same. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have so joined the back and the front together. Like I showed you, I sew down to the hemline. And this part too, the same thing. I sew here, down to the hemline, okay? And I also sew this place too. Like I showed you, okay? So what I'm going to do now is to cut out the SS, okay? All right, so I'm cutting out the SS and after which I'm going to turn it over so that you see. Can you see that the lines are aligning with each other, the waistline? Okay, so you fold, I mean, you turn it like so. Okay. Okay. So, um, our shot is coming together small, small. <laughs> okay, so here I'm pushing, I'm trying to push out the overlapping where my hook is going to be. So I'm trying to push it out with my um scissors so this is how it's going to look so what i'm going to do next is to fold the down part okay 
So before I fold the hem side, I'm going to complete the waist like this. So I'm going to fold here like so, the inside, okay? And then I'll stitch up to this point like this, okay? I'll do the same on this other side. I'm going to fold here in like so, and then I'll stitch. I'll stitch from the front part, not from this back part I'm showing, okay? All right, so, and then I'm going to hem the down part, okay? All right, guys, I'm done. All right, so our pocket, I'm trying to fill the pocket. And then I'll stitch here, like I showed you. I stitch from the outside, okay? I stitch from the outside. And then what I'm going to, and I've also turned the hem line, hem side. So what I'm going to do now is, um, oh boy, the pocket is almost the same length with the short. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to reduce the pocket. So what I'm going to do now is to fold like this. Okay, and then I'll sew from here to this point. Okay, just hold it like this. Align this place together and then you sew. All right. Okay, so, and that will be all for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share this video with friends and family social media anywhere you like just share 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 okay thank you for watching this video and subscribe if you've not done so leave a comment for me below i want to get to know you i want to know my subscribers so comment below thank you thank you again for the 1000 sub see you in my next video i love you all bye